what's up, YouTube? This is Fourth Star TCG. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm continuing with my collection video, uh, following up with, following up after the PSA graded cards video uh, that went up either yesterday or a couple days ago. I don't know what the upload schedule for this uh, collection video summary is going to be, but uh, just follow up with that. I'll be doing a lot of the cards that I haven't PSA graded yet. And just some cool stuff that I have lying around. So, starting off with just a bunch of hollow cards that I really like. Uh, this Gorgeist from X and Y. Fantastic. This XY22 Darkrai promo uh, came with Phantom Forces, uh, I think a triple blister. And I, kn I, pr I should probably PSA grade this because it just looks so cool. Either PSA grade this or purchase the uh, Japanese movie promo which is a Crystal Shard Hollow, which is really nice, and uh, PSA grade that. Uh, two Garchomps. Uh, these next couple Hollow cards are from my uh, Platinum Supreme Victors quote-unquote booster box opening, uh, which was very weighed. Uh, but I did get a bunch of Ultra Rares, which is really nice. Now into some Japanese Hollows. Gorgeous. And these are all of my extras from X and Y5, and I just love uh, X and Y5 in Japanese. So nice. The first set that I'm actually trying to actively complete. Uh, I mean, EX Hall and Phantoms is like an ongoing thing for me, which I will probably eventually complete. But, I mean, who knows. Uh, Blaziken. Get the focus there. Manaphy. Electros. Huntail. Whoops. Grab two there, the Crawdot. Into the Ancient Hollows, Rhyperior, Excadrill, Swampert, and Zoomerill, which just looked fantastic. And the only duplicate EX that I got was Agron EX, which was really nice. Um, a horrible focus. No idea. There we go. Only duplicate EX, Agron EX. It was actually pretty nice when I got four booster boxes of um, each set, and I was the only. I only was missing two regular. EXs and uh, out of both sets combined, two regular EXs and one hollow. So now a bunch of cards that I should probably PSA grade. Um, haven't exactly gone through them just yet. I have Altamare's Latias and Altamare's Latios. This probably won't be graded, um, not in the best of condition, but it's just so cool. So I might just grade it just for the heck of it, you know. Uh, a Rayquaza Hollow. Get some better lighting on that one. Uh, just looks so cool, and I think this has a chance to get a 10. Salamence Level X. Uh, pick this up off of a Japanese seller. First edition, really nice. Rockets Persian EX, non hollow, but still really cool. Uh, I did pop two uh, Dialga and Age Slash EX in here to be graded. Probably won't grade them as they're just so common. Uh, base set Zapdos, which definitely needs to be graded because it's a base set Zapdos and it's in mint condition and it's really cool. Uh, a couple of hollows from my two Phantom Gate booster boxes that I really liked. If I can get the camera to focus in there. Reggie Gigas. Uh, these are the XY Movie promo hollows, which I should probably grade eventually. Maybe if they have like a 50 day special for like six bucks a card. Um, <clears throat> more Phantom Gate hollows. Another XY movie promo Xerneas, more Phantom Gate, even more Phantom Gate, even more Phantom Gate. Now back into uh, Hall and Phantoms, Flygon, uh, this is Milotikus from EX Dragon Frontiers, uh, Reverse Latios from Hall and Phantoms, a Reverse Deoxys, which, oh wow, that's epic. Oops, dropped the Starmie. Yeah, a lot of these cards will eventually be going off to PSA. Starmie Hollow. Deoxys Hollow, which is so, so, so epic. I really want to grade the uh, Deoxys Speed and Deoxys Attack, which are electric types and dark types, respectively. This AZ, I definitely should grade. has a possibility of getting a 10, which would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but as it's not that expensive, I really don't want to spend a lot on getting it graded. So there's the first stack. Probably graded, probably to be graded cards. 
get the next stack here. Charizard G Level X pulled this out of my uh, Platinum Supreme Victors quote unquote booster box. 36 loose packs, which was incredibly weighed, but still gave me some awesome ultra rares. Uh, Charizard G Level X, Blaziken FB Level X, and Electivire FB Level X. So three ultra rares, which is probably more than you get in a regular booster box. But I only got, I think, like maybe five other hollows. I think it was five. Yeah. So eight out of a possible 12 definitely means that they're weighed. Uh, Japanese Arceus level X, look at that hollow pattern. That is just fantastic. Japanese Lucario EX probably won't be graded, but it was just in such nice condition as all Japanese EXs are coming out of the packs. Uh, Japanese Gengar level X, first edition, absolutely fantastic. Rayquaza EX from EX Dragon. If I can get the focus, this so needs to be graded. It's an epic card, and I just love it. Dark Dragonite Hollow. I don't know why I haven't graded this card yet. Probably because it's not that valuable, but it's just so epic. Um, a PSA 10 of this card is a collection goal of mine, but it's so hard to get as you have to buy the theme deck um, just to get this one card, and if it's not in mint condition, well, tough luck. Uh, a bunch of old uh, EX Series EXs, not that valuable, but mint condition. Uh, probably should grade them all eventually. Uh, Full Art Zerosic that I got out of my Phantom Gate uh, booster box. Or one of two. Uh, another Lysander Strup card, I picked up three of them. Um, already got one graded, and it got a Gem Mint 10. You guys can see that, so probably just... Uh, grade this one because I mean it's in gem mint condition and I'm hoping for a 10 um, just to sell it off make some good money or just have it in my Lysander collection my two graded Lysander cards I'm um, pulling on level X pulled this card uh, so needs to be graded um, this is like PSA submission video number three <laughs> uh, shame and EX full art also pulled it myself Karina Full Art pulled it myself. Uh, the Eveltal and Xerneas Full Arts from the Super Legend set, which are just really cool and need to be graded. <laughs> uh, Aqua Sharpedo. Uh, for my 100 subscriber special, I opened a, or for part of it, I opened a pack of EX Team Magma versus Team Aqua, and I got this holo card. And it's so cool, and it so needs to be graded. Uh, Tornado CX Full Art. Uh, this would, should probably be graded, you know, horrible camera there, but should probably be graded just, um, more horrible, uh, lighting, but yeah, should probably just be graded because I have a bunch of full arts from Dark Explorers, uh, already graded, I have the Dark Ray in a 10 and, uh, the Groudon in a 9, so if I can get this in a PSA 9 or 10, that would be really nice. Charizard Secret Rare from, um... EX Dragon. Now I'm kind of iffy on this card. I'm going to take it off camera for a second and just take another look at it just to find. There it is. Do not know if you guys can see that on the camera, but there is a nick in the bottom right hand corner, and it's. I've seen PSA 8 cards with things like that, and probably not worth getting it graded if it'll get an 8, but I really don't know. So we'll see. Next, just a few cards here. Manectric EX, uh, very nice. I have, what do I have? I have one full art from Van Forces, it's a 10. The other one, uh, let's not talk about it. Uh, <laughs> Manectric EX, full art Zekrom, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, pulled this myself, really hoping for a 10, as it's, well, perfect. And uh, Lugia EX, this one's off-center, but it was just so nice that I couldn't help popping it in a card saver and just at least considering getting it graded. So there you guys go. That's my sort of to-be-graded collection. Um, really hoping that eventually most of these cards will be uh, sent off to PSA in some way, shape, or form. But, I mean, you never know. Um financial obligation sending cards to PSA is very expensive um, 
when you have a collector's club membership, it is a little easier, but it takes time and it costs money. Um, just to get one card graded, you're looking at at least six dollars, which when you think of like a card like this Full Art AZ, um, which is really worth like five dollars on its own, you're paying more than is worth more than the card is worth to get it graded, which is kind of crazy. I mean, it's really awesome when you can get cards like Lysander's Trump card in a PSA 10, um, and that $6 that you spend at minimum, minimum of $6 on grading card ranges anywhere from like 6 to 17 if your card is valued under, I think it's $500, um, not a lot of Pokemon cards that eclipse that value, but maybe if you're looking at like a sealed play uh, Umbreon Star, which is so amazing, uh, then you have to pay more, like, might be up to $30 a card, uh, but yeah. So those are sort of some of the dilemmas about grading, is that it costs a ton of money, and sometimes you don't get a big return. Um, you really have to get a PSA 10 in order for your card to make money. Um, if it gets a PSA 10, it makes a lot of money, uh, and if it gets a PSA 9, you can make some money off of it, um, but usually, unless you're submitting in bulk, getting PSA 8s and PSA 9s on your cards, um, a lot of the newer ones, that is, I mean, if you get, like, a PSA 9 on Pikachu Illustrator or something insane like that, it definitely shoots up the value, and, uh, full art cards, also in PSA 9, are worth a bit more. But, uh, here, let me just try to find something like, okay, like this card, this PSA 9 uh, Full Art Battle Reporter, probably worth just a little bit more than the actual Battle Reporter in mint condition. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, yeah, so, when you're looking to grade cards, you gotta... A lot of people will say, oh, well, do I grade this, do I grade this, do I grade this, and it's, like, really not in good condition. Uh, unless you want to spend the money and it's, like, a nostalgic card, only grade it if you think it's going to get a high grade. Um, that's what grading's for, uh, is to really certify that your cards are in mint condition. Uh, this, is, this collection video has really turned into, like, a I advice on PSA grading, which I think I already did on my channel. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, go check that out if you want to. Um, I'll try to put a link in the description, but I don't know. So, uh, I'll stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I think I might do maybe one more installment of my collection video. Uh, maybe show you my EX Hall and Phantom set progress. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. I just uploaded my complete sets of um, uh, Guy Volcano and Tidal Storm. I don't know. I might just do, like, cool cards that I have or top fives and tens. So, again, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around for more videos.